back to the phone lines. We'll talk next to Ben, Leewood, Kansas. Hi, Ben. Hi, Hank. Thanks for having me on. You're welcome. Okay, so my question has to do with, um, I guess, parallels that I've seen drawn between Jesus and, um, for instance, I think his name was Horus. It was an ancient Egyptian god of the sun. Uh, have you seen the movie The Zeitgeist? I sure have. Zeitgeist, yes. That's a German word. Zeitgeist. Yeah. And have, have you seen the movie? Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of... I, I watched that today, and uh, I'm just trying to figure out... Uh, have you written on it, or is there anything anywhere that I can get some information about that, and whether or not it's legit? Or... Yeah, actually, we did write a summary of Zeitgeist, and it is available through the Ministry of the Christian Research Institute. Zeitgeist, as I said, is a German word, and it has to do with the spirit of the times. And the basic idea is that Christianity is mythological, very much like mystery religions are mythological, and they also make the assertion that Christianity borrowed from pagan mystery religions. They do a lot of things, however, to make the parallels seem greater than what they really are. First and foremost, what they do is they exaggerate the terminology, and then they make these parallels. Not only that, but oftentimes they get the chronology all wrong. In other words, if you get the chronology correct and you're not spinning it, then it would be the mystery religions borrowing from Christianity rather than the other way around. But even if there are parallels, that shouldn't bother us. In a sense, C.S. Lewis talked about the mystery of Christianity in the sense that Christianity ultimately is not mythological in the same sense as the mystery religions, but rather in the sense that here you have something that actually happens in time and space. So in a mystery religion, a resurrection is in fact mythological in the true sense of the word, but in Christianity it actually happens because God invades time and space and has the power to overcome death and the grave. But I would say that the the mystery religions are syncretistic, and that's a huge difference from Christianity. They borrow from all kinds of different competing religions, where Christianity is singularly focused on faith in the one who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So again, the zeitgeist is great propaganda, but it doesn't correspond to reality. And the alleged similarities, as I said, as well as the terminology used to communicate those similarities are greatly exaggerated. So if you look at the parallel between the resurrection of Osiris and the resurrection of Christ, it's a stretch. And for the mysteries, that's about as good as it gets. Okay. Do you uh, recommend any particular uh, books? Or uh, I guess I'm looking for details and that yeah. sort of thing. Do you well, of course, we've written this piece, which is available through the Ministry of the Christian Research Institute. Lee Strobel also takes this on in his book, The Case for the Real Jesus. I've written about this in various entries in the Bible Answer Book, the Complete Bible Answer Book Collector's Edition. So there are a lot of different resources that you can get if you go to the web at equip.org. Okay, and what is the one that you described, not your uh, Bible Answer Book, but the other one that you said that you wrote? On well, I didn't write this, but it's a summary done by a research department. It's called Zeitgeist the Movie, and it is a summary of Zeitgeist the Movie. And you can find it on the web. Thank you very much, and God bless. God bless you. Thank you so much for your call.